Our feature tonight, directed by Shea Marie Doyle, focuses on Donald O'Kelly, a playwright now at the height of his powers. Think of him as the Cecil B. the Mill of one-man theatre. He can be seen at present in his show Catalpa touring the country, but you can see him now here, Donald O'Kelly. To write the play, Catalpa, I couched it all in the head of a screenwriter, which allows me to play all the characters. Fuss mate Smith standing on the poop deck! Four topsail! Four topsail! Rumpy Riga, Rumpy! You've chosen well, Captain Anthony. They're a first-rate crew. Your job as first mate is to ensure they're first-rate at sea, Mr. Smith. Oh, they're the best. They know your reputation. They're in it for their fraction of what they judge will be one mighty catch. Catalpa is my solo play. And it's based on the true story of the whaling ship Catalpa. The Catalpa sailed in New Bedford, Massachusetts in 1875, around the world to Western Australia, rescued six Fenian prisoners from Fremantle Penal Colony and brought them back to New York. And it's the story of the captain of that ship in particular, whose name was George Anthony. Atlantic Ocean Day into night, into day into night Calm The stars above, the sea beneath The catalpa tacking between Calm The crew crouched together in the shelter of the poop deck The poop deck the poop deck catch ya! Whaler songs they sing a ling a squeeze a box a squeeze. The reason I love the story so much is it's about a journey. It's, it's an epic voyage almost in the, the Greek sense. And I'm always attracted to stories of journeys. Mopsy, Toby, Malle, Pawnee and Lopez, Brava, Gingy, Lombard and Kanika, First Mate Smith and Second Mate Da Silva with his squeeze box, squeeze When I finish a script, I never have a clue how the hell I managed to get from the start to the end. It's always a bit of a mystery journey, but it always does have the feeling of a journey. Listen, Cal, I know you and you know me, so we won't fuck around, right? I built this company out of nothing, right? Don't fuck around out of nothing, right? Do you know what I had when I started? A bicycle, a lady's bicycle with a fucking big basket on the front. And I went out to Holt every morning and knocked off a basket full of cod and beat it back to Moor Street and flogged it to the air once before it got bright. In hail, rain, sleet and snow. So don't tell me about haulage. <sighs> I first did Bat the Father, Rabbit the Son in 1988 for the Dublin Theatre Festival. Bat the Father, Rabbit the Son was kind of really special because it was my first big breakthrough. And as well, it was a real personal breakthrough for me just to write my own stuff and act it. Uh, early on in Bat the Father, Rabbit the Son, Rabbit tells his minion, Kyo, his most prized secret. And the secret is, you can't go forward unless you look back. And in a way, I think that's true as well, because what it's about is you're, you're, you, you've grown out of your past, whether you like it or not, and uh, you're rooted in it, whether you like it or not. You can't discard your past. 
And that's really the whole, the motor that Bat the Father, Abba the Son runs on is that idea that it, there is no point in trying to escape your past. You've got to accommodate to it. Joe, sit down. Let me tell you a secret. A secret is a lovely thing, a wonderful gift to give. Do you know the funny thing about a secret? A secret has a very direct, self-destructive instinct. Your ordinary secret, a regular kamikaze. A secret isn't happy till it's down, done, destroyed. Here, you have a secret safe inside your head. Safe. And what does it do? It hammers, hammers, hammers until the doors begin to strain. And then, a particular moment when you least expect it, whoosh, there it is, sitting on the bar after falling out your mouth, folding its arms and laughing at you. That's a secret for you. So here's a secret I'm going to kill in order to give it to you. The secret I am sacrificing to you, Kyo, is this. You can't go forward unless you look back. Bat the father, Rabbit the son, brought me to Australia. We uh, performed it at the Perth Festival, Perth, Adelaide and Wellington, New Zealand in 1992. And while I was in Perth, I found out about the Catalpa. I first heard of the Catalpa story and uh, read up about it. So in a way, the journey of Bat the father, Rabbit the son, brought me on to the next journey of Catalpa. You'll never sail these seas again. Well, Mopsy throws the iron. It buries itself on the flesh of our side, the yard behind the eye. Under her flipper, the whale calf brushes the boat, but it stays upright as the harpoon rope unwinds. Run a rig, run a rig, run a rig, run a rig, snake. Pawnee falters, steps on the rope. Bam! Pawnee! Hangs by his boot from a knot in the rope till the whale dives deep. George seizes the axe. He cuts the rope. Pachook. Too late. Then they hear a noise, an angry noise of horses, a million horses neighing, angry and wild. I don't think anybody can ever accuse me of doing things the easy way. It seems to have taken a long time to get to the point where I've got a f number of plays published now it's been quite a long and fairly choppy journey some of the time and through some pretty cold weather as well. <laughs> and it kind of feels like we're at a, I'm in a nice, uh, you know, we've got a nice wind in the sails at the moment and it's, uh, we're going through balmy climbs. <laughs>